Hi everyone, um, I am back from Paris and today I am filming a haul for you. Um, this is kind of a combination of what my parents brought me back from the US when they went over there. So there's a Sephora bit in it. Um, and then there is just the bits that I picked up in Paris as well. Um, I didn't get to go to a Sephora when we went to Paris. We just kind of completely missed it. We walked past the massive one and then I planned to go there the next day and it just completely slipped my mind and I didn't end up going in there. Um, but I've been to a couple of ones in France before and they're never as impressive as the ones in the US. So it wasn't really the end of the world because I had a few bits that I already wanted from there anyway. So I'll get started with the things I was brought back from Sephora. Um, I really love their bags, it's so cute. One thing at the top of my list was the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Tipsy. Um, I'm so excited to use this, I kind of haven't used this because I haven't photographed it yet. Um, vlogger problems or what. But um, yeah, I just really love it, it's really cute. And I just think that it's such a lovely colour, um, so I can't wait to really try this out. My mum also brought me back some things from Fresh, and this is a really lovely gift set. I think it has got um, a soy face cleanser in it, um, the Fresh Sugar Lip Scrub, and the Sugar Berry kind of lip balm thingy. And then it's got a little mascara as well, which comes in the cutest packaging, and I think it is quite Christmassy, so um, yeah, I think these are just really, really lovely, um, and I can't wait to kind of use them, but again, I need to photograph them, which is so annoying. And then we have my things that I bought from Paris. Um, as you can see, we went to um, Collect, which is a really lovely shop. It's kind of like a um, more high-end Urban Outfitters, and Urban Outfitters is expensive as enough as it is anyway, so it was kind of horrific, the amount of... The, like how expensive everything was in there. I just got one fr thing from Collect really and I promised myself that if I saw one of these over in Paris I would just treat myself. It is the Diptyque um, candles and I picked up Baze. Baze? I don't know how you say it. Um, but it just is the most gorgeous kind of rosy clean smell and I was really torn between this or Mimosa and I just had to go with this one in the end. Um, it was just absolutely beautiful. It cost me about 22 euros which isn't too bad. Um, it's just kind of like the smaller one but I just felt like getting a big one would be excessive and I just kind of want one of these first and then I think I'm going to get one of the um, Christmas candles by Diptyque for Christmas and I'm so excited because I really want um, Amber Oud so yeah I just like treat myself to a little one and it's just so beautiful. Then we have um, skincare and I'm sure you just saw me um, pick up the bag that had um, Bioderma kind of sticking out the top so um, I bought two bottles of this and I, I got it quite ex, um, at quite an expensive pharmacy because it was 21 euros 90 whatever and um, that's quite expensive but um, when my parents have gone over there they've managed to get it for around 18 euros which makes them kind of like six euros ago which is really good the next thing I picked up was the Nukes Rev de Miel I think that's how you say it it's a really lovely kind of matte lip balm I've already started using it I just tucked straight into this when I picked it up um, and it is really lovely matte orangey scented lip balm i really love the fact that it's orange scented at first it kind of really put me off but i really really do like it i think i can't tell if it's replaced my love for the cordley lip balm yet and um, because they do a really great stick lip balm it smells like vanilla and it's so lovely and creamy this isn't this is creamy but it's kind of matte and the other one definitely gives your lips like a nice sheen um, but I really really do like this and I think it will last quite a long time it cost me about 10 euros which I think is actually cheaper than you can get it for over here which is really really good um, so if you're in France I definitely recommend picking one of these the up. last thing I picked up was the Lorac Diopt Calm Anti Fatigue Eye Cream um, I was really really excited to pick this up because I know that Anna uses it all the time and I think Lily's just recently picked it up um, I'll link their blogs up below and it just looks like this. It's quite a small tube, but I think it will last you quite a while. Um, it's only 10ml, which actually I think is the same as the um, Origins Eye Doctor Cream, which I'm just literally scraping around the bottom of the It's top. a hell of a lot cheaper than the Origins Eye Doctor Cream. The Origins Eye Doctor Cream is around £26 or something ridiculous like that. So yeah, I'm really glad I picked this up. Um, so that is it for my haul. I kind of feel like that there was not that much in there. But um, like I said, I've just kind of picked all these things up and I haven't really got to try them all yet. So um, I will just kind of report back to you with how I like some of these and things like that. Um, and obviously I am, um, I've just filmed two videos and I'm about to run out for lunch with my family. So I'm kind of really whizzing through all these videos. Um, I'd also just like to say a massive thank you um, because I was on the train back from Paris and 
I realised that I've reached 2,000 subscribers, which is really, really amazing. Um, it just kind of really amazes me that there's that many people that kind of click click the little sub, sub, uh, <laughs> that click the little subscribe button up there. Um, so that's just really, really lovely. Um, just thank you all so much. I just want to squish all your faces and say a big thank you. So yeah. Um, thank you so much um, I hope you're all having a lovely day evening weekend whatever whenever you're watching this um, and I will see you guys again soon bye